Okay, I want to make a video that I've been asked to make a couple of times over the past few months as I've made more content about high level. I've gotten a couple emails, a few messages here on YouTube, people asking me, Doug, what is high level? Why are you using it? And should I be using it or what should I use it for? I made a little presentation here to help explain what it is. And hopefully by the end, you'll know what it is and if it's right for you. So high level is not part of WordPress. I've gotten that question a few times. It's not a plugin. It's not WordPress. It's a completely separate platform. It's it sits outside of your website and it does a ton of stuff. This would be what I would call an all in one kind of off the shelf solution. And like many of the all in one tools out there, it's the jack of all trades, right? Master of none. You've heard that saying before. However, there are a few things that high level does that I would say it's quite masterful at. So let's quickly go over what it is. And this is not everything. These are just the things that I could think of and find icons for off the top of my head, but it's a full CRM. It's an email marketing platform. And when I say full CRM and email marketing platform, I mean that there is feature parity to some of the best email marketing and best CRM platforms out there. This isn't like, oh, it does some email. Oh, it does some CRM. No, these are full features. It's an e-commerce platform. You can sell things directly through it. It does payment processing. It has checkout forms. It has funnels. It has statistics integrates directly with your Stripe account. It's a total replacement for things like Thrivecart, Surecart, you name it. It does all of that. It can help you get reviews. It does review management, integrates with Google, Facebook, etc. It's a course platform. I've made videos about this. It's an ads manager. It can connect directly with Facebook, Instagram, uh, Google ads, and literally you can build your ads in high level and push them to these platforms in a much simpler way than having to use those platforms by themselves. It's a community platform. I have a video on that as well. Basically, if you want a community, and I would say courses and community, like I mentioned in my videos, are like the jack of all trades type feature master of none. Those are not quite fantastic yet. They're good, but not amazing. But those are features. It's a full website builder, a full page editor type experience. With just one high level account, you can technically have unlimited websites with unlimited domains. There's no limit per sub account on how many websites you can have. You can connect as many domains as you want, build as many websites as you want, do whatever you want with it. And they are fully functional websites. Do I like the website builder as much as some of the website builders I use in WordPress? No, not really, but it's getting there. If on a scale of one to 10, the tools I use on WordPress are like a seven or an eight, this would be like a five or six, right? Just underneath that. And again, I don't even give my WordPress tools perfect scores by any means. It also does a text messaging, call tracking, you name it. It does all of that stuff with the best of them. It does documents and contracts. Think of it like a full uh, proposal software, invoicing software, DocuSign replacement. It also does AI chatbots, which is something that I've been getting into recently, uh, building complete AI chatbots, training them on your website content and having them be able to interact with uh, your website visitors via SMS, social media, uh, like Facebook Messenger, and just a messenger bot on your own website. As you can see, High Level does a ton of stuff, and this is not even everything. There's so many other little features that I've left off, probably some big ones that I just can't remember. But these, I would say, are the big ones that I think about when I think about what is High Level. All right, so who is High Level for? I'll tell you who it's for by debunking two myths. Myth number one is that it's only for agencies. That's not true. Although I've used High Level in my agency that I run, for over two years with all of our clients, this is not for agencies only. As an individual business that is not an agency, you can absolutely go buy a high level account, use one of the sub accounts for your own business, and you've got a phenomenal tool that does all the things we just talked about. Totally acceptable for individual businesses to buy it. Myth number two is that it's only for the affiliate guru -y MLM schemers. I've heard, I've heard like pyramid scheme thrown around. I've heard Ponzi scheme thrown around. I don't think either of those were used correctly in this case. Um, but essentially people think that this is only for people that are hawking software, trying to get an affiliate uh, commission. And while it's true that high level does have a great affiliate program. And yes, it's true that a lot of people try to make a living just selling the software to other people or trying to help other people use the software. And that's their whole business model that accounts for what I would call the vocal minority, the people with the YouTube channels that are out there trying to basically sell the dream right? In a kind of like a dude bro gimmicky type way. You know who they are if you've seen them. So to officially answer the question, it's for anyone that wants these features. If these features right here are appealing to you and you're looking for a software that can kind of bundle them all together in a super integrated CRM type experience, then high level is a fantastic option for you to consider as a business owner.
Okay, so now what do I use high level for? I've been very open. I put this on my website, on my high level page. What do I use it for? I'm very open about the fact that I don't use it for all of these features. I don't use it for every one of these things. I use it for mainly the CRM, the email marketing, and the workflows and automations. Think of that like, I mean, you've used Active Campaign, or if you've used Active Campaign, Convert Kit, gosh, all those ones where you can build automations like when this happens, do this, etc. If then that type of thing. High level has a phenomenal workflow system that has really kind of become the glue that holds and integrates my business together. It kind of sits between the CRM and my email marketing, kind of like from all my other platforms into high level, I've automated and built workflows for everything. So I love these three features and I can't find any tool that does these three things the way I want them to be done, except for high level. High level is the only tool I've been able to find that does it. So to me, it makes sense that that's why I use high level. So to just drill down very quickly into the CRM component here, I don't need a full fledged enterprise class CRM, even though this is quite capable of doing that. I don't need big, long sales pipelines, which is actually a feature I left off the list. It has really cool sales pipelines like, like pipe drive, that type of thing. I don't need that at Convology. I need that in my agency. I don't need that at Convology. I don't have a team. I don't have like, I'm not sending text messages to people. I'm not doing tracking phone numbers. I don't need all that data and task management and um, notes and all that kind of stuff in a CRM. I don't need that. But what I do like to do with the CRM is I do like to store purchase data. And I really do like to segment my users into smart lists and things like that. So High Level provides me with a CRM that I can integrate with the workflow side to push all that data from, let's say, Surecart or Circle or Thrivecart. I can push all that data into High Level, populate the CRM data, the contact data with all this stuff. And I can have a really robust collection of contacts, unlimited by the way, and be able to reference that data in the future, send emails, tag segment, all that stuff. All right, so that's how I use the CRM. There's about a million other ways you could use it more than I do. Now on the email marketing side, I use this predominantly for newsletters. I've just restarted my newsletter. You can go to convology.com slash newsletter. It's a big push for me this year. It's one of my big goals for 2025. I sent my last one uh, two weeks ago. I'm sending them every other week. I'm sending the next one this week. Uh, so essentially I'm using it to send my newsletters, build my campaigns, grow my email list. I'm also using it for onboarding emails. If someone buys one of my products, I have an automation that sends out, you know, the, the onboard welcome, send a follow-up email to check in on you, that type of stuff. I'm also using it for emails that are associated with funnels that I've built, webinar funnels, workshop funnels, that type of thing. All of the emails that I send to my business come from high level. All right, so let's talk about the cost of the email because I think this is the biggest reason that a lot of people talk to me about switching over to high level. So I did some research again, I looked at the, the price that the other guys would charge and by the other guys, I mean just the big names out there. And for about 5,000 subscribers, which I think is a safe number for a lot of businesses that um, watch my videos and, and talk to me, um, many of you have way more than this. If so, the value just keeps going up. Uh, many of you have less than this, um, but this is a safe middle of the road number. So I looked at like uh, kit.com and active campaign. And it's about 70 to $90 a month, depending on some of the features that you want just for the email side. This doesn't count all the other high level features. For example, at active campaign, if you wanted the CRM stuff, this number goes up to about $200 a month around the 5,000 subscriber range. And essentially all the other tools out there are penalizing you for growth. The more subscribers you have, the more you pay, whether or not you ever send them a single email. Let's contrast that over here with high level. High level cost per subscriber is zero. I could have a million subscribers and pay nothing for them. I will only, well, I'll pay for having the account, right? That's the, we're gonna talk about that in a second, but just in terms of the email, I am paying to send pennies per, not even pennies, that's per email, right? And so for my use, all the emails I just talked about, it costs me less than $12 a month. Typically, I think my bill last month was $8. Let's put that into perspective. That's a lot better than 70 to 90 with sending no emails at all. Now, let's talk about what does high level cost. There is a cost associated with it. So there is a cost for having an account. So in a way, it's not fair to say, oh, these guys charge 70 to 90 per month and high level barely charges you anything at all. I wanna be transparent. High level does have a fixed cost. 
and they do have three plans that you can choose from with some other things that you could add on like better support, HIPAA, that kind of stuff. Um, but essentially they've got these three plans right here. Uh, the starter plan, let's ignore the names. Let's just say the $97 per month plan, the $297 per month plan, and the $497 per month plan. Those numbers sound enormous, at least at the 297 and 497 level, but let's talk about it for a second. The $97 per month plan gives you basically all the features you'd want. Everything that I, should, I talked about that I would use high level for and everything I said high level does, all of that is in the $97 per month plan and you get three accounts. They're called sub accounts. So like Convology would be a one sub account and then I just have two sitting there. I could use one for you know a family member or a friend's business. The $2.97 per month plan, this is where things get interesting. And this is where I sat for a really, really long time, even as an agency owner. You get unlimited accounts. I could have a million customers. You also get API access, which is, you know, it's pretty good. It's nice to have as, as an agency owner. And you get white label, which is the ability to put, you know, your own logos on there and that type of thing. And you get the ability to do some rebilling, but with no markup. So you're not going to make a profit off of this rebilling, but it's a way for you to have sub accounts that pay you and then you pay high level. So really, once you get past this $97 per month plan, things start to be more towards you are an agency or a reseller. And then especially as you get into the $497 per month plan, this is really just agency stuff. You get the advanced API, which is mostly just agency API features. I don't even ever use them. You get the SaaS mode, which is basically if you go to my website and you go to the high level page and you go to buy high level from me, which I'll talk about in a second, you're going through SaaS mode. Someone puts in their name, email, credit card, and pays. Their account gets auto set up. I don't touch anything. I don't lift a finger. They're just set up and they're ready to go. Different from the $2.97 per month plan where you can have unlimited accounts, but you're manually adding them or you're coming up with a fancy way of doing it with Zapier. But again, that starts to you know, go into the agency or the API, the advanced API. And then lastly, I saw some stuff on that list like split testing and funnels, which I've actually used before. And I guess that's a $4.97 per month plan. Sometimes there's also stuff not listed on uh, this section right here. Like um, they don't list everything. Like it used to be you get, um, you could only up, uh, customize your reporting dashboards on the $4.97 plan and the $2.97 plan could only customize five dashboards. There's little knickknacky things like that, that for the most part, aren't relevant. Um, but these were the big ones, um, if not the ones that are different. So those are the pricing plans. So when someone says, Doug, what plan do I need? Well, if you're just gonna go buy from high level and you're just, you're just a business, right? You just need it for you to have a CRM or for you to do email marketing. Go for the 97 per month plan. You really don't need the rest. If you're an agency, what level do you wanna take this to? No, no pun intended. If you want to take it to a high level, go to the $4.97 per month plan because that's where you get SaaS mode and some of those things. You can give your customers all the features. But really, I sat here for about a year and a half at the $2.97 per month plan and was wildly profitable and successful without the need for the $4.97 plan. I put down here, but wait, there's more. And, you know, not to be one of those YouTubers that says, oh, you want to buy some high level? I essentially have a version of high level, right? I have the 497 per month plan. I run an agency through it. I call it workflows. It's workflows.marketing is the URL. And essentially I offer high level to people that want to buy through me. And I offer it to Convology All Access members for $50 a month. So instead of paying $97 per month, uh, you can pay $50 per month and you get all of the features on the 497 plan, which is really just like API access and some, you know, access to other things that you would like little knickknacky things that I said and that you wouldn't have on the 97 plan. But essentially for like most people, this is basically the same as the $97 per month plan, but you're not going to get three accounts with me. You're going to get one account, but you're going to get support from me directly because you are my customer already. And you're already a member of Convology Plus. Now, if you're not a member of Convology Plus, the, the all access membership, and you just want to buy it through me because you know you want to join my community, I do offer a high level for 97 per month, just like high level does. You're not going to get three accounts. You're going to get one so that you're already getting a little bit less than you'd get from high level, but you're getting support directly from me. And if you have a problem that I can't solve, I have to contact high level for you because you are my customer under my agency. 
So I make that available to people to just go on my website and buy. Uh, several people have done so. I don't even know who they are. They just buy it through me, um, probably because they see a YouTube video and they want to. Um, but I've put that on my website and made it available to you if you're interested in working on it through me or if you want to join uh, Convology Plus All Access um, because of all the other benefits. And I've got a link in the description if you're interested in that. But bottom line is I'm not trying to hawk you high level. I'm just trying to let you know that there are ways that you can work this to your advantage to get features or benefits that you may have already wanted. And then you can just add on this as an ongoing uh, member benefit. I've had a couple people tell me that um, they were already all access members and they picked this up and they're saving, you know, roughly $50 a month, um, which is most of their membership cost anyway. Uh, and they've told me that alone has more than paid for uh, what they consider the price of the membership. All right. So hopefully that was helpful in helping answer the question, what is high level? Uh, why do I use it? What does it cost and whether you should get it? Overall, I think it's a phenomenal solution. Uh, it's very reliable. It's a big company and it's not something that you need to be worried about disappearing tomorrow, right? It's not going anywhere. And it is doing a lot of things in this industry that are forcing other companies to become more competitive in order to compete with the direction that high level is going. Um, so I'm a big fan of it. I do have more videos coming out on my channel about high level and I'll continue to support the platform uh, for as long as they continue to do an amazing job. And like I said, it powers most of my agency now, so I'm definitely invested. Um, so I hope this was helpful. If you have additional questions, go ahead and leave them down below or check out my high level video playlist for more tutorials.